saying if we take all these letters, say for example in the word algebra, right, and we want to rearrange them in such a way that it forms you know, a different word than algebra, how many ways can we do that using all of the letters, right? Well, let's first count how many letters we have. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Now, when you order seven items, you can use this formula, n factorial. And what n factorial does is it says, like, whatever this number is, like, say, for example, if it was, like, uh, three factorial, what you do is you take that number three and then you multiply down to one. So three times two times one, that's six. So what the six represents is if you had three you know, different items, right? You know, how many different ways could you, you know, rearrange those three different items, you know, such that the order is important, right? So there would be six different ways to do that. And you can test that out with like the letters A, B, C. You could do A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, you know, and so on, right? Okay, there's six different ways. Now with algebra, there's seven uh, letters here, right? So that means that there's gonna be seven factorial ways of rearranging these letters. Now, if you want to see it in a more uh, descriptive way, see, imagine writing it out like this. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's going to be seven choices. Like if you were to reach into a hat, seven different you know, choices for picking out that first letter. Once you pick out that first letter, how many are there left to choose for the next letter in the word? There's going to be six, right? And then five, and then four, and then three, and two, and one. That's the same as what I've written here, seven factorial. So that's another way to think about it. The only problem is, though, is you see how it says distinguishable? That means that, you know, they look like they're different. If I just move this A over here to this A over here, like switch these two A's, it would still look like the word algebra. So what we have to do is we have to see if there's any repeated letters. Here you can see there's two A's that are repeated. So I'm going to divide by two factorial. Two factorial is just two times one. That means there's two different ways of arranging these A's. Okay, you know, such that, you know, it wouldn't really look like a different word. So we have to divide out those multiplicities, if you will. So here we're just going to go ahead and simplify. So 7 factorial, we've already written that out, divided by 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. And you can see the 2 and the 1, those are going to cancel. So we really just have to multiply 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, times 5 times 4 times 3, which is 2,520 different ways of using all the letters in algebra to make a different distinguishable uh, permutation, which is like an ordering of those letters, right? So let's go ahead and do number two. See if you can do this one. We've got the uh, word pepper, okay? So pepper, let's see, this one has six letters. So that means there's gonna be six factorial ways of arranging six of those you know, letters. The only issue is we've got three P's and two E's, right? So we have to divide out those multiplicities. So we're dividing out the three factorial for the P's and we're dividing out the two factorial, that's for the E's. Now again, the three P's, that's three factorial, that's three times two times one, which is six. There's actually six different ways to rearrange these uh, P's so that they're actually like in the same, it would look like the same word, it would look like pepper. And even if you were to you know, rearrange the word again in such a way that, let's say I wrote it backwards like R E P, P, E, P, again, you could rearrange these, you know, three P's in six different ways. So what we have to do is we have to divide out those multiplicities because otherwise it's going to look like the same word. We want it to be a different word, right? So let's go ahead and simplify this. So six factorial is six times five times four times three times two times one. Three factorial is three times two times one and two factorial is two times one. Now don't make the mistake of you know, multiplying these together and saying that six factorial, that's a mistake, because then you would just get one. And we know there's more than one way to rearrange those letters. So let's see what we've got here. The three, the two, and the one cancel. Two goes into four twice. Uh, six times five is 30, times two is 60, divided by one is just gonna be 60. So there's 60 different ways. 